Hi everyone, this is John Faulkner, your Epic Consultant and Coach. So the topic today that we're going to be talking about is how do you start an Epic Consulting business? This is specifically from an independent consultant perspective. So just to kind of give you some background on where I came from, I started my business in October 2021. Um, I'm right now working as an independent consultant as a contractor, which is aka a 1099 uh, known to most firms out there. So in order to do this, you need to answer some questions first, just to kind of get started. You need to think about like, what is the most important thing to you, benefits or money? Are you creative and consider yourself an entrepreneur? Do you have like a big picture goal of kind of where you want to be? What are your goals? Like, what do you want to get out of life? You know, um, do you want to make a lot of money? Do you want to spend more time with your family? You're looking for more of a kind of lifestyle job. Um, and also, are you willing to take risk? Because that's kind of a big part of this independent contracting. Are you flexible to changes? Or are you really kind of rigid in your ways? You need to think about kind of yourself as, a, as an individual. Like, what's your personality? What are you looking for? Just kind of like what I did to get started. Um, if you want to get started as an independent consultant, the first thing you need to do is become official. You need to start your own business um, by setting up an LLC through your state. That's my recommendation. I think you can do other ones too, like an S corp or other ones, but just to get started as an independent consultant, I would recommend an LLC. Um, I think it took me, I think I paid a hundred bucks. It took like 24 hours for like expedited setup time through the state. Very quick. Then a whole lot of delay there. Um, the name of mine, you can name it, uh, whatever you like. I recommend naming yours just by your name, just to keep it nice and simple. So mine is John Faulkner, LLC. You can use a DBA, which is like a doing business as, and the name it something else. But sometimes that gets confusing. Uh, maybe think about that down the road once you have like an actual firm set up. And then you can kind of think about like what you want to name it. Um, another thing to think about too is like when you're working independently, it allows you to make a lot more money per hour with clients. However, you don't get any of the benefits and you get no paid time off. So those are like the biggest negatives with this. The perks are that you can claim many items at tax time, which is a bonus, essentially lowering the amount of income claimed. So that's another bonus. Um, you also need to keep in mind that around tax time, um, you're paying estimated taxes each quarter. So you need to kind of plan ahead and definitely get a CPA. That's another recommendation of mine. So make sure that you're, you're paying the taxes up, like every quarter, every three months, three to four months, because no money is taken out in your paychecks. You're gonna think, wow, I'm making all this money, but if you're not paying the taxes, um, you're kind of in a heap of trouble. So make sure you're keeping up on that. Get a really good CPA that has worked with consultants before, um, that has worked with independent contractors. One of the things to kind of think about too is not all firms will work with you either. 30 to 40%, this is kind of a rough, a rough estimate, will not work with you if you're an independent contractor just because of like liability reasons and anything else um, that may come up. So other things you have to consider is you'll have to purchase also insurance. So professional and general liability insurance, you can range, this can range from 85 to $150 per month. Other things you got to make sure you purchase is like your own um, computer setup. You need to purchase, um, I purchased Bitdefender, so like antivirus software, anti-ransom software, things to protect yourself because you do not want to get sued. Um, one of the buy, one of the companies I work with is called Byberk. That's a great company to get quotes from and get started. It's a Warren Buffett company. In addition, um, you want to make sure you get the correct limits with your policies. Usually it ranges anywhere from one to two million dollars per occurrence. So just kind of keep that in mind as you're buying insurance, you're getting the right amounts. You can always adjust it later, but just to get it correct up front. Um, many firms also, once you get this going, they want to be named as an additional insured. This is normal too, by the way. Some tools that will help you kind of keep organized as you're kind of going through this process. I highly recommend using QuickBooks. It's an online tax software. Um, I think you can start off free and kind of work your way up through the different upgrades depending on your needs. Um, one of the calendars that I use just because I have a very full schedule is Motion. 
Um, you do have to pay for it. However, what's nice is that you can create your task and then the AI within the app actually adjust your um, task by the priority you set. So then you can work on things that are most important to you first and then kind of work on the less important things later. Um, one of the other things too, just to make sure that you're getting paid to set up a business checking account through a reputable bank. I Chase is a really good one, but you need at least 2K in the account at all times. If you go below that, I think you get like a 15 or $25 a month fee. Even if you go down for like a day, for like 24 hours, you're still going to get a fee. Um, they usually have great offers with spending made though with like initial opening of a credit card too, which is really great. Um, I think I got like 100,000 points or something um, crazy like that. Um, so just kind of keep that one in mind. That's my recommendation. And then once you get the LLC set up, insurance and business checking account set up, you're ready to kind of rock it as like an independent consultant. You can really start working with consulting firms, uh, network with recruiters quite a bit and tell them what your goals are. You're working as an independent contractor on the AKA 1099 and you can work as that. So until next time, cheers.